All right, hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Stacy, and I am a stay-at-home mom of four. And if you recognize the name to this channel, um, you might know me from my other channel that has the same name, but it is crafts and activities and art. And unfortunately, I haven't had much time to do much with that channel. So um, yeah, with virtual learning, my kids started, I have three kids in school right now, a kindergartner, a first grader, and a third grader. And they started the school year off uh, virtually. And I still have one doing virtual and two went back into the building. And it's just been complete chaos. So um, there hasn't really been a lot of time for art and crafting and all that. So um, I try to post on that channel when I can, but it's been really slow trying to get that um, that stuff going because it is a hobby. So on this channel, it's going to be more of my everyday stuff that I have to do. You know, your recipes um, and things that I do to stay organized. I'm hoping to do a big, uh, before the pandemic hit, we were, I was going from um, this crazy mess to trying to go a little more, a little more minimalistic. Um, you know, I think everyone has their own definition of minimalistic. And so I was working my way through that and then I kind of stopped um, when the whole shutdown happened. And so I'm gonna try to go back through that and film some of doing that. But for today, um, I was going to show you how I am going to do some organizing of recipes because who so if you're ever wondering okay what am I going to cook today what you know are we gonna have and then it gets closer to dinner and so what do you do you throw in chicken nuggets or something really easy that's me like a lot so I am going to make a or put together a binder that is all of our recipes that I use a lot that are healthy and go-to's that I can just flip through and pick something out and plan menu plan which will be another video of how I do that um, I menu plan for a week or not for a week I'm sorry I menu plan for a month and um, the grocery shop every two weeks and this whole binder just really helps now I make or I made one already this is Kind of, I actually like this better because I, I like the soft one, cover. But this is kind of what I'm talking about. This one is much better, a much better example of what I want. But it's not going to be what I'm doing today. Um, these are recipes I've collected over the years. But recently, I have found out that I am gluten gluten sensitive and dairy sensitive. So a lot of these recipes, though they're okay for my kids and my husband, um, I haven't been making because I can't eat them. So I need to find recipes that I can eat and go to. So I have been doing Whole30 and Paleo, and that's what I have here. These are recipes I found from all my cookbooks, and I've been making them, and Pinterest, so I bought some really cheap, inexpensive binders from Ollie's. If you have an Ollie's, they were $1.99. Um, and I'm going to put them in this binder. Uh, this is another recipe binder that I had bought. And, or I bought the binder and then I put recipes inside. This one I color coded. This was, I was doing, um, kind of healthy eating when I was during my pregnancies and during um, when I was breastfeeding. So I kind of color coded things to orange was breakfast, green was dinner, um, yellow looks like, well, yellow maybe was lunch and pink was um, lactation boosters. So I am not breastfeeding anymore, I'm not pregnant anymore, so I can get rid of these recipes and um, use these 
the sleeves that hold index cards. I got white index cards and I wrote the recipes on them. Um, eventually I might change it to color coding, but right now, like I said, it's just, it's so chaotic. My son, my one son is in soccer and that's three days a week. So there's not a lot of time for things. Uh, so I'm just going to do what gets it done right now. And so I'm gonna transfer some of this stuff over to this binder. I, I just wanted a little more color, a little more, um, you know, jazz it up a little bit. So I'm gonna transfer some of these recipes over to here and I'm going to put some of these recipes, like I said, I just wrote these down from my, the cookbooks I already have and from Pinterest. So I don't have to keep flipping through everything every day. Every Sunday I would pull out, you know, like the 10 Whole30 cookbooks I had and flip through them trying to find recipes. Well, this way I can have all of our known favorites in here. And then if I want to go through my cookbook still, I can and find like a new recipe to try. But um, this will help the bulk of my planning at least. And um, so yeah, so let's do this and get this together um, and see how it goes. added the recipes, I categorized them by breakfast, lunch, dinner. I have crock pot recipes. I have sauces and dips, snacks, desserts, and smoothies. So originally I have these note card, uh, I'm not even sure where I got them, but they're note card, um, like kind of like baseball card sleeves. And um, I did look and they were like $7 a sleeve. And these were, like I said, just a little over a dollar. So I opted to get these instead. And they'll work just fine for what I need. And um, I'm going to tape, here's a little couple more recipes that I wrote down that I use frequently from Pinterest. So I wrote them on a note card. I'm gonna slap them in here and show you then what I did here. So let's do that. So here I'm opening some sleeves that I bought at Walmart for super cheap. I ran out of the note card holders that are kind of like baseball card sleeves, uh, but they hold note cards instead of baseball cards. So um, I ran out of them. So I am just using note card, or I'm sorry, um, just regular binder sleeves, I think they're called. And then I'm using cardstock, and I'm going to tape the note card recipes to the cardstock paper, and then just slip the paper into the 
sleeves, um, the plastic sleeves. So I'm working on that. I'm working on going through the recipes and separating them into categories. Uh, I am also working on uh, separating the recipes into the different categories of crock pot, lunch, dinner, breakfast, those sort of things because I pulled them from different from different um, cookbooks. The purple one I have there and then the other binder that I have. that I had put on the cardstock, putting them into the binder. I'm using tape because if I glue them, some of the recipes I wrote um, on the back of the card, some of them I didn't. But if I use tape that way, if I need to take them out, to use the just the individual cards, I can do that easily. And here I have implemented a system with all of the cookbooks that I make, or all the binders that I make, where I use stars to, um, well, so I use gold buy the recipes that my kids really love and that way I know that I need to make more of it or extra and um, sometimes I'll go a step further and I'll use you know other other colors for different codes like I might use red for the ones that I really like or it depends kind of what what I'm doing within the binder itself. Um, for my previous ones, I've used like blue for crock pot recipes, but this one I have a separate section for that. So that's what the star stickers are about. Um, just coding, coding them for different categories. But here the yellow is for, or gold, is for the ones that my kids specifically like. Now here I am stenciling on here I start with breakfast. So just the beginning of each category, I'm putting in an insert. And I could totally print out a page that says breakfast, but I just had time to do this, so I decided to do it. And yes, these are my stencils from like 1990. <laughs> So I broke them out. I broke it up and I could have gone the easy route and I could have printed um, papers out that said breakfast, but you know, I liked adding a little creativeness to it and I'll probably um, color it in eventually, maybe add some decorations or something just because that's what I like to do. Okay, so I divided it into breakfast, uh, lunch, dinner, crock pot meals because those are extremely important during busy weeks and I like to just flip towards crock pot meals instead of trying to find them within the dinner section. Uh, I have snacks in here and smoothies. We eat a lot of or we drink a lot of smoothies. Cheat day. I included cheat days. Um, those are typically like really fattening meals. Um, some of them I don't typically eat because they have gluten or something in them, but for the kids, I wouldn't really call them cheat days for the kids, but um, you know, I know then for me. Um, desserts, I don't have anything in there now for desserts, but I will be adting some meals in there and for me. So 
that's what I do. Um, like I said, this is my old one and it has a lot of, see I printed off for this one. I printed off. Um, so this is what I, what I do normally for all the meals that I know that are tried and true. This one, as I said, is just old recipes. I am newly um, gluten and dairy free. And so this binder is just an update with recipes that um, are from my new cookbooks that, you know, I don't want to go rooting through 20 cookbooks to find a recipe. So I just transferred our favorite ones into here and I added gold stars to the ones that the kids love. So um, then I know, you see there's a lot that aren't gold starred, but um, they're ones that the kids could eat and eat and eat eat and eat and then so I know to either make extra of or um, you know something like that so yeah so this is what how what I'm gonna start breaking out during meal planning time which hopefully I will get around to and can post how I do that next week but this is how um, I break the, I can break this out and do my meal planning for the month I typically do for a whole month and then um, It'll just make it easier for me. And if I want to get out a cookbook and try like a new meal, I can do that and not, um, and fill up some of the blank spots on my meal planning chart and, or calendar and just, um, you know, make it a little easier, not flipping through tons and tons of cookbooks. So here it is. Um, here's my recipes and this is how I do it and then also the sheets are protecting the recipe but I can pull it out for the most part I can pull it out if I need to just grab the recipe and set it beside me while I cook um, I have a contents list um, to easily look through it quick to see what's in here it's not always going to be in order because a lot of times things get shuffled around but at least I know what recipes are in here. I'll add to it when I add recipes um, and go from there. So thanks for watching and until next time guys, have a great week. Bye.